Uh, good morning, guys. Welcome to our uh, third lesson of menu planning. And today we are going to look at uh, recipe costing. Uh, in the last class, we talked about what a recipe is. We saw uh, recipes are things that we see on an, on a day-to-day -day basis, maybe on the TV, on, when someone is showing people how to cook something. Maybe you've seen them on recipe TV. And even in books, in magazines, you always see recipes. And we say that a recipe is a, a written formula uh, that is that shows the maybe the, the ingredients and the, the instructions for um, preparing and cooking a particular dish, a certain dish. The, the term certain or particular is very important here because we cannot have two recipes having the same, I mean, the same uh, method and uh, ingredient. So we have to have the name of the dish. And we say that the contents of the recipe would be that name of the dish being the first one and then the uh, number of portions the yield and uh, the ingredients with their precise amounts and descriptions and uh, the method and also some maybe some equipment to be used inside there and also how to serve that food so generally that is what you would expect to find in a recipe sometimes you also find the time for preparing and cooking food is being given there. We also give serving instructions and sometimes a photo of the end product. Now, we also talked about uh, recipe conversion, where we say that because it's, uh, okay, establishments use standard recipes, like an establishment uses, uh, co consistently uses one recipe for making a particular dish every time every time that that dish is going to be cooked and that is why we say that it is a standardized recipe it's a standard recipe okay so uh with that standard recipe you can actually be able to do a lot of things with it and we talked about recipe conversion we say that recipe conversion is where we uh, manipulate that recipe so that it can be able to cater for either uh, less or more people and we say that we do that by dividing the the number of new portions with the uh, original number of portions and then whatever uh, index we get we use it to multiply the rest of the ingredients and um i'm hoping we have all done that uh, i think I've, I've not been able to check but i'll be checking after this class so we are we, are, we now are going to look at recipe costing what do you think recipe costing is? Can I hear um, uh, suggestions? Recipe costing. What do you think is it is? Uh, I think it's the calculation of a recipe with the ingredients so that you can get the final cost on that specific recipe, like if it's for price you accumulate for each and every ingredient. Yeah, I think I can say so. Then you get yes. the final. Yes, she says it's a, it's a calculation, Burak. Burak? What is the recipe costing? I'm a, a, a Tabitha. Burak, you can talk. Just, just unmute yourself and talk. Burak? Okay. Uh... Oh, okay. All right. I, I think then there's there's really something wrong with your with your with your microphone. I don't know. So maybe it's okay. Uh, some uh, Onata Tabitha says it is a calculation of food in portions. Uh, there's something like the word cost. Cost actually means money, isn't it? When you see the word cost, you should always think about uh, money. Money is involved, isn't it? Yes. All right. So, um, 
when we are when when we're talking about, about recipe costing we are thinking about calculating the cost or determining the cost okay of the amounts of ingredients used to make that food okay the amounts of ingredients used to make that food so we are not going to calculate the cost of a whole kg of flour if you are using only two teaspoons. You, are, you understand me? Yes. So we are we, we are going to only calculate the cost of those two tablespoons of flour and not the whole kilo. Okay? Yes. So now uh we we have a price list i'll be sharing that with you maybe in the notes I'll, I'll send a price list that you shall be using uh to do the calculations all right so recipe calculation is simple it's the same thing you know like uh you're, you're doing uh what you call cross multiplication uh that you have done maybe in uh, secondary school where you do if this is equals to this then this is equals to x and then you do cross multiplication. But uh, instead of doing all that, we can actually use a table. It will be very, very easy. And of course, if you do it on Excel, it is even easier for you because as long as you set the formulas, then it does everything else for you. Okay. Right. So um, we have, um, uh, I mean, a. Uh, uh, um, a table that we call the recipe costing sheet recipe costing sheet and uh, the recipe costing sheet actually has six columns uh, on it and these six columns generally will have the ingredients it will have the unit of purchase the unit of purchase mostly uh, is either either in kilograms or in liters or maybe pieces or bunches, depending on whatever it is that you are, uh, we, we are buying. Even in the price list, you'll find them uh, that way. So um, the, the, the price list, I mean, the, 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 the table, the, the costing sheet, generally will have uh, the, the, the unit of purchase also, will have the quantity required. The quantity required is actually what now, what was in the recipe, okay? what was in the recipe so if the recipe had asked for two tablespoons of flour which is 30 grams because one tablespoon is 15 grams according to the conversions on the uh, practical cookery textbook then you will find that the that, that it is actually just 30 grams so if uh, you're using 30 grams then the cost per unit is uh, for a kg or rather the, the unit of purchase was a uh, kg and now the cost per unit is for a kg of you're told that one kg of that flour is 65 shillings or even 70 shillings then you're told now to calculate the cost of the 30 grams of flour so it will be very easy you take the 30 grams of flour and uh, convert them uh, into kgs by dividing by a thousand okay a thousand grams so the the grams uh for uh up there for 30 cancels with the grams for a thousand down here and now you're left with 30 over a thousand without the g's then you um of course uh cancel the, the 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 zeros down there and then place them in decimal points up there and you will find that it will be 0 0.03 kgs 0 0.03 kgs so that is what you're going to post on on your quantity required and then uh, once you post that then you will uh, use the 70 shillings or the 65 shillings times 0 0.03 and you get the answer are we together Okay, I've, okay I've, um, I've not put, it, uh, put in anything uh, for now, uh, Brack. I was just explaining first so that you can see. So she says you take the cost of your ingredients and then you break it into uh, uh, down into units such as per ounce or per egg. They, you then multiply these per unit traces by the number of units you use. Um, 
you take the cost of your ingredients and then you break it down into units. The cost of the ingredients is actually the cost per unit, our uh, uh, rack. Then you will use that by uh, getting the quantities required and then uh, converting them into that the unit of purchase that is given so that you can, it is easier for you to calculate the prices instead of doing cross multiplication for each and every uh, of these hesabus. Uh, of each and each uh, uh, for each and every of these ingredients, so you are going to uh, get the convert. You will convert. Generally, it is very easy. So you know, uh, uh, maybe three hundred grams is zero point three. So thirty grams is zero point zero three kgs. Okay. Uh, let okay. Um, let me show you. Uh, Brack is very. Um, uh, insistent that she cannot see anything. I hope now you can see something, uh, Burak. Can you? Burak, can you see something? All right. Okay, so now you can see it, right? <clears throat> so if you look at my table there, you we shall see all the all the six columns. We have the ingredient column, the unit of purchase column, and you can, as you look at it, you will find that it is either in kilograms, liter, bunch, and pieces down there. We cannot write grams here because uh, we, we normally don't buy uh, stuff in grams in the, in the market. They, they will always give you prices per maybe kgs, although some things may actually be posted in uh, maybe uh, packed in 250 grams or 100 grams and with their own prices. But generally, when you're get, being given the price list, you'll be given the price list for a whole kg. So they would say maybe uh, black pepper is 1,800 shillings, but uh, when you go buying uh, 100 grams, they, uh, they give it at maybe uh, 180 shillings. Okay. Uh, so now we look at um, the quantities required. We have given them in, in uh, 0 0.25 kgs. But if you look at the recipe itself, you will see that they had given it in 250 grams. So all the ones that have been given in grams, and uh, milliliters, I have, uh, I mean, converted into kg and liter. So let's go back, look at them. I want you to put them in your mind. We have 250 grams beef, 400 grams pishori, 120 grams uh, onions, and uh, 100 ml uh, vegetable cooking oil, and 200 grams tomatoes. So when you go back to the to the table you will notice that my unit uh, my, my quantity required for beef is now not 250 grams but 0 0.25 uh, kgs because i have converted into kgs then i have 0 0.4 kgs of rice 0 0.12 kgs of onions and uh, oil i have 0 0.1 liters and then i have uh, tomatoes at 0 0.2 kgs. Okay. Then uh, the other things have been given in teaspoons and uh, others in pieces like cinnamon steak, uh, cloves, cardamom seeds, and uh, ginger paste in a teaspoon. But of course, we buy them in they are mostly in in pieces. So now, if you look at that, you will uh, realize that. We have the cost per unit, and the cost per unit here is given according to. Oh my gosh! All right, I think there's a problem there with the with the the, the prices for cinnamon steak for cloves and for cardamom seeds. And then, of course, we have uh, ginger paste there. 
and of course the the price for it is not two thousand but twenty shillings per, per per piece, and the same for garlic twenty shillings. So these ones will be sold in uh, kilograms or grams in the supermarket. So uh, the unit of purchase here is a kg, and you can see that the the amounts are very high. The the, the prices are very high because of course their spices they are more expensive. All right. Now, if you look, if you go back and I look at the cost per unit for for meat is four fifty, and then you take that four fifty times zero point two five, and you get one hundred and twelve point five. I mean, uh, one hundred and twelve and fifty cents. Okay, ah, yeah. So uh, let me take you back to something else. Okay, uh, look at this. It says recipe costing is the calculation of the price or cost of the amount of ingredients used in a standard recipe. The, the price or the cost of the amount of ingredients used. Not just ingredients, but the amounts. So we are not going to calculate for a whole kg if it was not the whole kg that was used. So we cannot say that the price of meat is uh, 450 when we only use a quarter of the, of the meat, isn't it? Yes, and this is done by multiplying the quantity required, it is in uh, quotes, quantity required column by the cost per unit column in the recipe costing sheet. In the recipe costing sheet. Note that prices for herbs, spices, and condiments are estimated between 1 and 10 shillings. So we don't calculate for uh, like two pieces of uh, cinnamon steak. Uh, six because they are just uh, the, the nini. Uh, it will be such a tedious job. So we only cal uh, uh, estimate between one and ten shillings. Okay. So a standard recipe served in uh, standard portions has a standard portion cost. So the, the recipe cost can also be called the standard portion cost. So we can actually be able to calculate only for one one person. I'll be showing you that uh, maybe when we are we are we are done with this. So um, looking at the the amounts there, look at uh, whatever is being given here. Uh, we have the table there, and this table generally now has the uh, the, the amounts of ingredients. That, that that's another one. This was for beef pilau, and the other one is for On a seafood new bag. Okay, so uh, uh, look at the the, con the conversions here. So we have two point zero point two five kgs of uh, meat, and uh, this is uh, four fifty shillings uh, per kg of that beef. So the amount here is uh, gotten from multiplying zero point two five kgs with four hundred and fifty shillings, and you get one hundred and twelve and fifty cents. Then we have Pishori, which is 0 0.4 kgs uh, that we used. The kilo of uh, Pishori rice is 160 shillings. So we calculate that by multiplying 0 0.4 with 164, and which gives us 64 shillings. We look at onions also. We have been given 0 0.1 kgs, and the kilo is 100 grams. Uh, shillings so uh, 0 0.12 times uh, 0 0.12 times 100 is 12 shillings so you can see that i have put in sh uh, the, the shillings in brackets up here uh, for, for all the columns that are talking about cost then look at turmeric powder it is given in kilogram here we needed a half teaspoon uh, and um, the cost per unit is a thousand shillings per kg but because because we said for for spices we are going to estimate then we estimate a price of two shillings there okay just estimating estimating is like guessing you know you know you ile you gauge to ile aku guess okay then we have coriander coriander powder in these are seeds of dania they actually are used in cooking. We have half teaspoon also for a thousand shillings, and the price is uh, five shillings. 
also an estimate. And you can see that before the estimate, there's something I put there, and it is an asterisk. Uh, asterisk. So the asterisk. Okay, I, I, I don't think I can be able to enlarge it uh, uh, more than that. So that is that these are asterisks I've put there uh, to show that those are estimates. Let me go to cooking oil. Uh, it is in lit. I mean, the unit of purchase is in liters. So we have we had 100 ml of oil. So we uh, post it as 0 0.1 liter. And then the price of oil was 105 shillings. So if you do, if you take 0 0.1 liter times 195 shillings, it gives you uh, 19.5 uh, 19 shillings and 50 cents. Then we have coriander leaves, a bunch. We needed only one bunch, and a bunch is 10 shillings. So of course, one times 10 is 10 shillings. So then we have uh, tomatoes uh one kg i mean i mean uh, the unit of purchase is in kgs we needed 0 0.2 kgs and uh, the the price for a kg of tomatoes is 100 so 0 0.2 times 100 gives us 20. so the rest of the ingredients have been actually estimated sorry uh, they have been estimated so you can see coriander garlic paste there is a an estimate uh whole cumin is an estimate of four shillings black pepper is an estimate of seven shillings cinnamon steak is an uh an estimate of three shillings cloves is an estimate of um two shillings cinnamon i mean uh, cardamom seeds are, are an estimate of 10 shillings and ginger paste are an estimate of two shillings then uh on the last column which is the recipe cost which you have not affected from the time we started we only affect it at the end there where we add everything up this is the sum of all these you add 112.5 uh, 64 12 2 5 19.5 all the way back at 2 and you get 274 shillings so the recipe cost for beef pilau for five people was 274 shillings are we together up to that point are we together yes ah good ah uh, lorato Yes. Good. Onata. Tabitha, are we together? We need to know whether you are, we are together, Tabitha. She said Did yes. She typed. She, she said yes. She typed. Okay, let me see. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Sawa. Okay. So it. I think uh, uh, the the messages were hiding. All right. So that then. Okay. So if that is how we we we, we do that uh, recipe costing. Um. For the, for the beef pilau, what if you are told to now convert this recipe to cater for a thousand people, and then cost for it? What is what are you going to change? I want to hear. If you are told to convert for a, 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 um, a thousand people, what what things would change on this column? What things would change? The quantity. 
yes the quantity required will change and also the cost of amount used isn't it amount. yes yes because of course the quantity required will change the cost of amount used so if uh, we had uh, like now if we are converting to uh cater for that a thousand people then you take a thousand uh people divide by by five uh by five people isn't it yes and then we get 200 as a we, we get 200 shillings as a as a an index then uh this index we use it to multiply the rest of the ingredients and so that would mean uh the 2.5 kgs or uh, 0.25 kgs of uh beef will be done times 200 and of course that would give us like 50 kgs of meat is it 200 yes if you're catering for a thousand people and the recipe had uh, was only for five people then wh what did you say you do we divide the the new number of portions with the old number of portions right yes and whatever we get to use it to multiply the rest of the ingredients i think that's what we we, we, we talked about in the last class yes so that all, of course would mean we are going to multiply everything by 200 and uh, 200 so uh, 0.25 times 200 will give us like 50 kgs of meat for the rice uh, for the beef isn't it yes yeah. so of course so those that, that would change to 50 uh, kgs then of course uh, 50 times 450 is going to be such a big amount there like um 25000 25000 50 times 450. Yeah. 22,500. Yes, 22,500, somewhere there. So that is generally what uh, we would do if you are now told to convert this recipe. So not, uh, you will not change everything else. The rest of the things will remain, but the unit, uh, the, the quantity required and the uh, cost of amount used are going to actually change okay okay yes so they will change and of course uh i mean uh you'll change for everything but the, there's there's the spices and the the hubs this the, the prices still remain okay can i have a question yes if if you're changing the 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 quantity and all that do you change the ounces the? the ounce the amount of ounce if you're told to like there was a question in the the, the assignment you gave us uh, the the beef wellington yes i was asking if the ounce there was there was let's say it's like they have given in ounces you change into kg into kgs the ounces yes Is there a problem? No. No, there's no a problem. You just uh, check, uh, like, uh, I mean, uh, how, how many uh, ounces make uh, maybe a kilogram, okay? Or maybe, like, uh, just do a, maybe a Google. You just go and say, maybe uh, if you've been given two ounces, check two ounces uh, converted into grams or kilogram is how much? And do I multiply the the number of portions with the ounces? No. Uh, when you're when you're when you're converting, yes, you can do that. You, I, I mean, I, I mean, I thought you were saying for the cal calculation. I can I can just uh, calculate and com for, for, convert for the conversion. For the conversion, if if you just multiplied with the index, uh, is it your ounces? It is still okay. That that's no problem. But now when you're doing recipe like that. yeah so i can leave it like that when i multiply yes. the portion yes for, the, for that for that particular assignment that was okay okay yes but for this particular one of course the answers will have to change into kilograms okay yes unless maybe the, the uh, we don't need to calculate their prices but if we need to calculate their prices then we, we might need to change okay Are we together?
Yes. Yes. So that is it. So we might need to change uh, for, for the recipe costing. We will need to change, and most especially because of our our maybe uh, the nature of our exam. We are doing neck. They do it in kilograms, so we'll have to actually calculate them in kilograms. But uh, once you are, you have done it, umelewa i maneno when you're now a worker out there, maybe a akitara out there, you can still have them in ounces in the in the in this column, but the right amount, uh, the, the, the right uh, calculation for the for the money here, it's okay. As long as you know uh, uh, 24 ounces mean uh, how many grams, um, how many kilograms, and the, the, the cost per unit, and then you you multiply, you post the right answer. Are we, talk, are we together? Are we together? Yes. Okay. So that is it. Um, then um, we now uh, maybe talk about. Uh, I, I show you another one. Eh? They, this one, they, it is an example that was in the notes. They have not given the recipe itself, but they have given the amounts uh, to be to be calculated. And the recipe is called um, seafood new bag. So here we are. Can you see it? No. You cannot no. see it? No. You cannot see it? No. Can you see it? No. Can you see it? Let me undo the share. Hmm. Uh, okay, it is bringing problems like last uh, last time. Uh, can I let, let me uh, maybe remove my my webcam and see how how it goes, right? Okay. Okay, uh, so can we see that? Okay, so uh, if you look at the uh, the quantities required, they, they are now given in uh, grams, and these have left that inten intentionally so that you can be able to compare with the first one where we have uh, converted into kilograms. Yes, Okay, and uh, this is for easier calculation. It will be straightforward, uh, taking 0 0.25 times 450, and you get that. Now, in this case, they have given in, uh, we have given in 500, uh, in grams. So 500 grams is the quantity required. The, the unit of purchase is kilogram. The cost per unit, which is uh, 1, K, uh, 1 kg, is $38. And that is going to give you uh, $19. Because it is half of uh, that, that year, it isn't. Scallops the same. This is two fifty grams, which is a quarter of a kg. So the the price is given as twenty five dollars. So the cost of amount is this uh, six dollars and twenty five cents. Shrimps uh, to, uh, a quarter two of a kg, and the price given is for a kg. So it is. 14 kgs at uh, 14 dollars sorry and the cost of amount is this three uh, three dollars and 50 cents okay yeah, yeah. are yes. you are you calculating to get the cost of amount or you, it's just written there sorry the the cost of amount you that is supposed to be calculated my dear this is uh, th these are examples of, i'm giving you Yes. So uh, for you, you'll be uh, you'll be drawing the the table. You will draw the oh. table. Uh, it will be blank. You add in the ingredients. You add in the unit of purchase. Then the quantity of reco uh, I mean the quantity required, the cost per unit from the price list. I'll be giving you a price list. I told you, and then you use the, that to calculate the um, the cost of amount used. Do you get me? 
Are we together? Okay, and uh, if you look at this, you will notice that this one has five columns. You have the ingredient column. Uh, the, the... Sorry? Kind of confusing. Uh, uh, just just uh, express yourself. So you said uh, we are going to draw our own table to get all this. Yes. Maybe when we draw it, I'll get it. Okay. So uh, I was telling you, like this, this one is given in uh, uh, grams, but it is the same thing as what is up there. Only that this one is given in grams. Or I can change this. Can I change it to 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 to, to kilograms? Yes. Okay. Then this is going to be zero point uh, five kgs. Okay. So that this times that is nineteen dollars. Okay. Are we together? Yes. Like that. It is. It is. That it is just generally the same thing up, like up there. Okay. Like that. So I will not change all of it. So that uh, now you see. Um, we have gotten this from that. Or maybe we can also uh, maybe have the, the two of them. Uh, so five hundred grams, or zero point five, like that. Are we together? Are we okay? Yes. Now I get. Yeah. It. Yeah, so I think I'll leave it as that. It's the same thing, Nani Burak. Don't don't overthink things, eh? <laughs> it is the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that that is it. Uh, our example. Then uh, I was talking about fish fish velot. You can see that the cost per unit has nothing. Okay. And uh, the cost per uh, the, the the cost of unit has nothing because we are using something we call fish stock to make fish velot. Fish stock or stock is a, a flavored liquid that is extracted from meaty bones and vegetables, and used to cook uh, starches and stews and sauces and soups to make them tastier. Okay, so uh, what do we use in the making of stocks? Like in fish stock, we use fish bones, we use black pepper corns, we use uh, herbs, and maybe one or two vegetables. Then we boil the bones um, and, uh, and simmer them, and then use the liquid with some flour and uh, butter. We cook the, uh, the, the butter and the flour without color, and then we add the stock, so that it thickens and we use it now as fish velot. So that is why we are not having a price here because you cannot buy fish velot anywhere in the shop. Okay. So that is a, an estimate of a price they have given there for the, the, the buying of the bones and the, and the vegetables. Are we together? Okay. Then, of course, we, we continue with the prices. So this is uh, 250 grams or 2.5 kgs of butter. They have given the unit of uh, purchasers in kilogram, I mean, in five, uh, 500 grams. So this is uh, $2.85. And then, of course, half of uh, 2.85 is $1.43. Okay. So look at paprika there. They have given five grams. They have, uh, no, there's no unit of purchase. There's no cost of unit, but they have a price because that is a an estimate. I told you they will. Uh, we are estimating for herbs, spices, and condiments. Okay. Are we together, people? Okay. Then of course, look at the eggs. They have the the, the quantity required is uh, uh, six. They are buying in a tray of twelve, like the ones you, you see in the supermarkets, like uh, in six uh, in six pieces or twelve pieces uh, packed together. Then they are saying that the price is two dollars, 
So the, the cost of amount used is $1 because you're using half of the 12 eggs, okay? Then, of course, down there, we have uh, uh, the total. This total here is the recipe cost. It should be here as a sixth column, okay? It should be here as a sixth column, but it has been given down there as a total. And uh, if you add all of this, you get uh, $40.66. Are we together? Yes. Yes. So that is it. So you look at uh, what they have given, even for the sherry, sherry, uh, you need to 50 ml. The, uh, of course, the, the, the whole bottle is what, uh, with, uh, at 750 ml. That is the standard, I mean, uh, worldwide, that all uh, liquors and spirits and wines are sold in 750 ml bottles. Okay. So the, the price uh, is uh, $12 for the 750 ml here. So for 250 ml, which is a third of 750, is actually four dollars okay you can do cross multiplication if you if, if you if, if you feel in a okay yes. yes and then and then um party shells they have written each here you can write instead of writing uh, each you can write this okay then uh it is uh 12 cents per Per, per shell and then because you need uh, you need 10 shells you have one dollar and 20 cents okay then of yes. course uh the addition of all this is 40 dollars and 66 points and i like i told you in our in our earlier column now earlier uh uh table we had another column the the, the sixth column of recipe cost that we only affected at the end there and we put the the price of all these okay we added all these and we got that so it is the same thing as here but only that now it is written as total down there instead of a column here are we together so now yes. i want i need i need you to note something that the portion cost and the selling price used in the table for the the seafood new bag alone and uh, uh it is the uh is there is the cost for this the, the seafood new bag uh nini recipe alone and not the cost for all accompaniments found on that plate so accompaniments for the meal or for the dish are not costed for here so like if you're going to give butter and bread and vegetables and garnishes such as wedges of lemon or what all those will have to calculate a, a price for them okay or you give them as a, a, a as an after sales service kind of uh i mean like offer so unapena uh with the, with the price you have calculated but those other things maybe unazipena kama to uh a free sample or, or or an offer okay but if you feel that you need to cater for those costs you have to cost for them also for example uh maybe you're talking about uh maybe uh, a garnish that is expensive like you are supposed to garnish with some raw or fish izile is and dan is a fish and the way they are expensive you know you cannot be able to to offer that just for uh freely isn't it you have to cost for it so that uh the you, you are able to you know like uh also manage your costs in the, at the end of the day and also please the customer so you are going to have to cost for for the garnishes that are expensive uh i mean uh, uh, so that you can put them on the on the price of the meal now there's something i want us to do together and that is calculating the cost of uh, the of portions okay portion cost so this is uh, was the recipe cost whatever you are doing was the recipe was the recipe cost so what we have down here as 274 shillings uh, sorry
Okay, what we have down here as uh, 274 shillings is the recipe cost. Now, we want to calculate the cost of one portion. I'm at the portion cost, standard portion cost. How do we go about it? How do, do we go about it? Sorry, can you repeat again? We have said, like, the, 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 the recipe cost for beef pilau is 274 shillings. The recipe cost of beef pilau for five people is 274 shillings. So, what is the cost of one portion? One portion. Yes, one portion. One portion, as in uh, chakula yamtu moja. Iyo ilikuwa chakula yamtu watano, 274 shillings. So, for one person, how much? Or how do we calculate that? You cross multiply. What with what? You said uh, the the rice, the pilau is 274. For five people, it's 274. Mm -hmm. What about one person? Why do you need to do all that? You can you can use a formula to get the cost oh. of one person. Yes, to get yeah, you don't have to do cross multiplication. Yes, it is you right. You can it. do it. You can do it. You can do it, it that way. Lakin, you don't have to do that. You can use a, a formula. Very easy. I want us to formulate that formula together. Can we do that? Yes. Yes. So, what will be the formula now? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, do the cross multiplication on uh, I mean somewhere on on a uh, on some rough work. Um, I got sixty four point eight. Yes, but do this. Eh? Look at it now. I see how you can formulate that formula. Look at the cross multiplication and tell me how can you formulate that formula out of whatever you have done. Am I creating a formula? Yes, I want you to create a formula out of uh, out of that so that we'll, we'll be using it in the future. Instead of cross-multiplying, we go straight into the formula. Are you getting me? Yes. Yes. The cost of people divided by the cost of <laughs> the... I'm, the... I'm not understanding. You have not... Uh, what did you understand the, the question? Yes. Yes. Um, uh, we were saying, Lorato, that the cost of uh, the the beef pilau for five people is two hundred and seventy four shillings. So we are calculating the cost of one portion. One portion, chakulam to moja. And Burak has told us we can cross multiply, which is okay. Can multiply and get the right answer. But instead of doing that. I mean, all that work, we can use a, a formula. So I'm saying we use the cross multiplication to get the formula we can, because we can get it from there. Can we do that? It's a challenge, I, and I, I think we, we, we can do it. <laughs> Creating a formula. Yes, create it. You can do it. You can do it. What if we say the, the cost of people divided by the cost of the... The cost of people? The cost of... Divided by the cost of... The, uh, the, the cost of the pilau. What, what do you call uh, it? The recipe cost. We call it the recipe cost. Remember, it was the recipe cost. Mm -hmm. yeah, the recipe cost divided by the portion cost. By, no, yeah. by the number of portions. By the number of portions, yes. Yes, that is it. So you say uh, the the portion cost, portion cost portion is equal cost. to portion cost is, is equal to the, the standard uh, the, the, the recipe cost divided by the number of portions. 
no portions. Yes. Are we together? Yes. Can, I, can we use it now and see whether you're going to get the, right, the same answer? Yes. Use it and see whether you're going to get the same answer. Okay. So the number, the recipe, the recipe cost is 274. Mm -hmm. Divide by the, the number of portions. That's five. Yes. Mm -hmm. 54.8. Yes, it is the same answer, right? Yes. I, uh, Lorato and uh, Tabitha, I, I, I want us to be together. Lorato? I think Lorato is lost. <laughs> She's there, I can see her. No, like... The the whole yeah, uh, calculation. Yeah, two seven, uh, wait, fifty four point eight. That's the answer. Yes, yes. What, did you yes, did you get the formula? Did you get the formula? Yes, yes. So the formula we have we have said is portion cost is equal to recipe cost of a number of portions. Finish for me. Portion cost is equal to recipe cost of a number of portions, mm -hmm. which is uh, 274 divided by 5. Yes, that is very good. Very, very, very good. Okay. Uh, Onacha, are we uh, at first? Onacha, please talk. I can see you. You're, you're not on your, your headphones anymore, so you can talk to us. Tabitha, can you talk? Yes, I'm okay. Yeah, uh, and the answer is, uh, I mean, uh, what is the formula? Tell us what, what the formula is. Portion is equal to recipe cost of a number of portions. Sorry? Portion is equal to recipe cost of a number of portions. Portion cost, portion cost. Our portion cost is equal to recipe cost, cost of a number of portion. Good, that is very good. And do you get the right? Did you get the fifty-four point eight shillings? Yes. Ah, that's good. Okay, so that is uh, how we go about it. So it is as easy as that. Okay. So now, um, someone said that we have to do it, uh, maybe so that she can see. Okay. And that was Brack. Brack said we have to do it so that she can see how we are actually doing the calculations. Can you see that? Can you see what I'm doing? Yes. Okay. So here we have the ingredient. Then here we have unit of purchase. Then we here have a quantity required.
Then we have the cost per unit. In shillings, then we have cost of amount used. I hope you are drawing also. Are we drawing? Yes. Okay. Then here we have recipe cost. Okay, uh, uh, in, in our recipe costing sheet, we have to have the name of the of the establishment up or due, the recipe costing sheet, name of dish, and the number of portions. Like pardon. Let me let me do it here. Pardon. Yeah, I'm saying you 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 are supposed to have this. The, uh, before the table, like the one I had showed you in uh, notes, Mkenya restaurant. So that's the tab the heading of the table. That, that is uh, these are name of our restaurant. Oh, okay. Yes, and then the, uh, the, the name is uh, the name of the table is recipe costing sheet. Recipe. I'm writing uh, costing sheet. I just dictate. But you are. Have you have that is what you have been learning the, the whole day, Dani Burak. I cannot understand why you cannot understand the name costing. We have done it, we have, we have been right talking about it. No, I said you just dictate instead of writing. Okay, uh, but I said it. Yeah, so have you written that? Yes, okay, so that is how the, the table should look like. And here we have number of uh, I mean, name of dish. Name of dish then and then oops. There's no rubber. Okay, and then uh, number of portions. Okay, then of course the, that information you put uh, you put it together with. The other slide, which was 
uh, I mean, uh, ingredient, unit of purchase, quantity required, cost of unit, uh, cost per unit, sorry, cost of amount used, and the recipe cost. So now uh, uh, we, we are using beef pilau and five, uh, it was supposed to be five portions. So here you write the ingredients. Here we had beef, you write them there. Then you had pishori rice. Okay, so beef. I have the, a question. Yes. Okay, this table and the other table for dishes, name of dishes, number of portions. Are they the same, Ama? It is the same thing. As I, in, I in the same column. After recipe post to the name of dishes, Ama, it's another table. No, that's the top part of the oh. table. Okay. I, okay. Uh, look at this one. Okay. Uh, just a minute. Can you see that? Yes. So you can see there's the the the, the um, Kenya restaurant or um, Kenya hot dishes. Then there's that name recipe costing sheets. And name of uh, dish is beef pilau and number of portions is five. Have you seen that? Oh, yes. Yeah, that is that is it. And then the table is the same. Like what uh, is here is what I, I, I was drawing there. So you can maybe you can use that to draw. You can draw very fast so that you can, uh, I can go back. Some, uh, one of you said that you can, unless we do it uh, like uh, do it uh, together, maybe that's how you are going to understand. That is why I'm doing that. Are we done? Yes. Okay. So there we are. So we have uh, beef is um, uh, sold in kilograms, and fish oil rice is also sold in kilograms. And then the quantity required for uh, beef had been 0 0.25 kilograms. Okay? And uh, rice had been 0 0.25 Okay, the cost per unit uh, had been given as 450 shillings for beef. And 160 shillings for rice. Okay. And then the notes uh, had told us that you calculate the cost of amount used by doing what? By calculating the, the by uh, multiplying the the the, 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 the column uh, quantity required with the uh, the column for cost per unit. Okay, and that is that uh, here in the notes. You're told that recipe costing is done by multiplying the quantity required column by the cost per unit column in the recipe costing sheet and the recipe costing sheet is now this one isn't it that one so quantity required times cost per unit to get 112 and 50 cents are we together are we 
Are we together? Yes. Ah, good. So uh, I I needed uh to hear that very much because I, I don't want to leave you behind. I I don't. Uh, I, it would be of no use uh, if you do this and you don't understand it. Okay. So now uh, we had uh, an empty table. Cindy or uh, Brack? We had a, an empty yes. table, and now yes. we are we are filling in things from our recipe. Okay. Yes. Ah, yeah. So now, uh, this times this. You can do it on your calculator. What do you get? Pardon. Zero point two five times four hundred and fifty. What do you get? What What does that give you? One hundred and twelve point five. Yes, one hundred and twelve point five. Remember, the recipe cost is the cost of all the ingredients. So, at, uh, we are not going to affect this column or the embaka when you are done with all the with all the ingredients. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now can you calculate 0 0.4 times 160? 64. Yes, you get 64. Okay. Try and make sure that they, they, they are aligned. Like 12, uh, 12 being the last digits uh, in the ones goes together with 4, which is the ones in 64. So you make sure you don't write them come as a hazard. Okay. Okay. Yes. Then we have we have okay. onions. Yeah. Una the align vizuri ndio wakati una add jakuwa raisi kwako. It is not going to give you trouble. Okay. Okay. Yes, then we have uh, 0 0.12 kgs of onion, which was going for 100 shillings. So what do we do? Multiply. Multiply 0 0.12 with 100. 12. Yes, and you get 12. Okay. Okay. Yes. So now I think I'm, I want to put something uh, that is uh, not going to be calculated so that maybe we also get to understand it. So I'm going to put garlic. Garlic is a half. Garlic was in pieces, right? Mm -hmm. Was being uh, bought in pieces. And then we had a half teaspoon. Was it a half teaspoon or one teaspoon? One teaspoon. It was one teaspoon. Uh, so, or right, let's, let's just still use a uh, half teaspoon. It's okay because uh, rubbing will be a problem. And then the price for one garlic had been 20 shillings and since we said that the, uh, uh, garlic is a, is a spice we are not going to calculate the price of garlic but we are going to do what estimate a price between one shilling and ten shillings you remember that yes 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 so we are going to estimate and then i'll i'm going to just write an asterisk here Showing that our price is it's an estimate. estimate. Yes. Then, of course, after we are done, to say, uh, assuming that we have finished with our with our what with our with our costing, mm -hmm. 
Can you add all of these and give me uh, the, the, the price? Add all of them. One ninety point five. Sorry. One hundred and ninety point five. Yeah. Okay. One hundred and ninety. And. Point five. Fifty cents. Yes. So that is the cost uh, of for for all, only these uh, uh, ingredients that we have. your network than that right you need to find a problem sorry please repeat okay uh, yeah someone is trying to call me and they are, they are disrupting my network so and i'm trying to i don't know why okay so um i was telling you Remember that this recipe was longer than this. It had other things, isn't it? Yes. It had uh, turmeric powder, it had uh, cinnamon, it had oil, it had uh, yeah. tomatoes, garlic, I mean, ginger paste and all those. So we have just assumed that it may share apple. Okay? Yes. Yeah. So that now we see. When you're done, you put that as estimate. Is that okay? Yes. So that is it. I think uh, we, we uh, unless maybe you have any questions, and I want you to be very frank with yourself. Like, be very honest with yourself. If you don't understand, you do not understand anything you say. You do not understand. Uh, the estimate on the table, you put it under the cost of amount used, or you just put it anywhere. It it has to be on the cost of amount used because that that's a price. Okay. Yeah, because uh, that's we are assuming that that is how much you used. Because uh, an estimate is an assumption, isn't it? Yes. Yes. I have a question. Yes, Anacha. Okay, I was asking if in the table you don't have an estimate like garlic. Mm -hmm. In the table, for example, you don't have this. For example, garlic, and you estimate it. Still, you write there after calculating. You'll just write estimate down there after only, you finish only, when you have, only when you have estimated prices do you write this. Okay, uh, do you write the uh, the estimates? If you have not estimated wow. anything, then you don't need to write it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but of course, I th I think it would be like next to impossible to have a recipe that is not estimated unless it is a cake you're making and it didn't, it was not using salt. Yeah, and are we cal are we calculating the cost of the cost of amount and all that going down? Cost of unit. I don't understand. Cost of unit, a cost per unit. Are we calculating the cost per unit? Like the way we've added the the cost of amount used. Ah uh, no, those ones are just costs. You only price list. It's a fact, like a price list. Oh. Uh, when you when you go and and, and you find uh ukipita kwa kwa, kwa um, piu ya sweets unakuta kuna maybe toffees ni 85 shillings pack moja uh eclairs ni 250 but utanunua zote you understand yes yes it is a price list so uh, you get them from the price list I'll, I'll be sending you the price list okay yes and i have a question yes what you do the unit of purchase, mm -hmm. uh, you, you you said you are supposed to convert it into kgs, and mm -hmm. uh, mm. no, the unit of purchase, the unit of purchase remains either kilogram, liter, or piece or bunch. The, what we we are we are converting is the quantity required. Tabitha. Oh, okay. And what uh, what about the conversion table of that nini bunch? 
because I don't know one. Say for example, one bunch. If it, if you are, if you are, the unit of purchase is in bunch, then you still use bunch. Uh, quantity required. So you'll just multiply. For example, if we say we have one one bunch of something, we mm -hmm. want to convert it into kg. Are we going you to divide it? You or? don't. You don't need. You mm. don't need to convert into kgs when you have been given the, the unit of purchase as uh, as bunch. You understand? In the part of Nini, this quantity, see, you're supposed to, it's supposed to be in kg or or it will just no, stay like no 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 okay uh let me share again uh tabitha uh look at coriander coriander leaves uh tabitha they can you enlarge even... I cannot enlarge it more, uh, larger than that. You, you, are you, you sure can, you cannot see this? You can zoom your, your phone. I, yeah. Can you zoom your phone? Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Coriander leaves is given in bunch, isn't it? For unit of purchase. Yeah. And then still, yeah. like, for quantity required, it is also it given it. It is a bunch. Yes? So the yeah. cost per unit given here is for one bunch, not for a kilogram. Oh, okay. Yes. That, uh, the same thing we have given for, uh, we have given um, for garlic is peas. The, uh, the cost per unit is peas. Like in the quantity required, we have said a teaspoon, a teaspoon of uh, garlic. But because we are estimating the price, I need a Okay. Yes. Yes. Are we together now? Yes. Ah, good. So here we two these two pieces. Two pieces. Okay, so that is it. Unless maybe you have any questions. Can you give us like an assignment for this table and then we do it for ourselves? We see if we understand. Definitely, Burak. I cannot leave you just like that. Eh? <laughs> I have, I have, in fact, I have, I'm going to I'm going to make sure you do uh, a number of them before I'm I'm completely you know like sure that you got, guys got it right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So um, I'll be giving you a recipe. Mm -hmm. for beef stew yeah. so I'll, I'll type it up okay uh, I hope you can see my screen yes Goja.
Can you be able? Can I, I hope you're copying it? Shelf lights, fifty kg. Yes. Fifty grams. Fifty grams. Flour. Fifty grams. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, cost for the, the recipe. No, no, uh, I think mm. let me give you some more work. Convert the recipe to cater for twenty eight people and cost for the twenty eight to cater for. I'm writing. Uh, I'm right. You cannot see it. On yes. The recipe, you get that for twenty-eight people. You cannot see. Oh. Sure, pardon. Two people. <laughs> Zoom in your phone. <laughs> and now. Better. Yes. Better. Better. Okay, so th th there it is. Convert the recipe to cater for 28 people and cost for the 28. So you shall start by converting and then now you cost for the 28, okay? Yes. Yes. Then you, you shall send it. You shall, you shall send the work to my email account, okay? Okay. Check you, you, yes. eight people you sorry? Cost for you're converting the cost of twenty eight people here. Oh. You you convert for twenty eight Kwanza? Remember the recipe is for four people, so first of all you convert for twenty-eight. Alafu cost for twenty-eight. Don't cost for four. Cost for twenty-eight. Are you together? Yeah. Yes. So, Alafu, uh, uh, of course, uh, let me let me get get you the 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 price list. Send it to your mail. Uh, I mean, you are posted a dashboard so that you can be able to use it. 